What's happening out there everyone? It's Roll Easy here. Welcome back to the channel. Guys, today I have a new method to hit the gift cards to friends glitch. It's a two player method. It's super quick and super easy. I'm telling you, you can get a car and give a car probably every 10 minutes once you get good at this. And like I said, all you need is one friend. All right, so uh, yeah, shout out to my boys and fart crew for finding, you know, always the original method. Uh, shout out to Macclesfield for finding a lot of the newer methods used in this video. And what you're going to need is obviously one friend, throw yourself in an invite only session. And what you're going to want to need is obviously bunkers. The same one is the best. Uh, if you guys got the same bunkers, make sure you got MOCs with the personal vehicle storage. Throw a free Elegy or a Fagio inside the MOC. Obviously a car to give if you're giving a car. Uh, if you're doing this as a money glitch, you want to use Benny's vehicles only and throw a custom plate on there. And then the receiver, you want extra custom plates for after the glitch to change them. And if you're giving the car, make sure you have an extra Fagio somewhere in another garage and bunker caddies inside your bunker so that you can blow up the MOC. So here we go. The main perspective of this video is actually going to be in the car giver's perspective because you actually have more steps being the giver. You're pretty much doing the entire glitch as the giver, but it's super, super simple. So, car giver, go ahead and get a Fagio from wherever you got, you know, wherever you got one. Doesn't matter if it's from your MOC, your 10 car garage, your CEO garage, doesn't matter. Just grab a Fagio, drive into your bunker. You're going to want to go to this spot right here and you want to wedge it right there. Now, the whole point is you want to be able to teleport just like this. So, you see, that's why I actually recommend backing it into there. And you're going to see I do that in a little bit. But uh, you want to go ahead and park it in there and park it in there as deep as you can, like, you know, back up to the wall. And then when you hit Y or triangle, you should be teleporting in there like that. Now, once you feel that you've gotten a good rhythm and that you should be able to teleport, uh, what you're going to want to do is actually back it up. But you want to call up Gerald, Simeon, or Martin and have one of those jobs in your phone, okay? So as you can see, I teleported there and I was about to get ready. So now I'm going to go to my contacts and I'm actually going to just call up Simeon. There we go. I've called up Simeon. And I'm going to go ahead and just request a job from Simeon. All right. This unlocks pretty early in the game. So a lot of you should have this already. Now, once I've called up Simeon and requested a job, I received the job right there. And I was actually thinking about doing the glitch right here, but I decided I don't want to hop on the back of it just in case you want to be able to teleport. So if you want to be sure that you're going to teleport, just go ahead and back up the Fagio all the way to the wall. All right. Back it up pretty much right about there. And you see, I can teleport now pressing Y or triangle every single time I'm teleporting. So go ahead and go into your phone now once you're sitting on there and start up that Simeon job. And remember, you're going to back out right away. OK, right when you hit that lobby screen, press B or circle and then confirm it. All right. And now start spamming Y or triangle. Start spamming. And you see, I was spamming. I got back. Boom. That Fagio is now glitched in everyone's bunker. All right. So car receiver, you're in the top right. What you're doing is you're going to go ahead and grab your Fagio or your Elegy, go behind your MOC, and you're going to do the right D-pad start. All right, quickly with your thumbs, just tap down a right D-pad and start and let go very quickly. And then if you check over at jobs, play job and quick job should be grayed out. If they're grayed out, then you're good. You've hit the glitch. You are frozen behind the MOC and you just want to sit there. All right. So the car giver, what you're doing is you got your Fagio, you park it right next to your MOC just like that. Now go ahead and grab one of your bunker caddies, doesn't matter what type of caddy you have. And what you're going to want to do is go ahead and ram this into your MOC. Now the positioning of the Fagio is really up to you. Uh, I didn't know if I was going to be able to knock it over that way. So I just ended up parking it parallel to the MOC right now. And uh, yeah, so I'm just going to go ahead and back it up real quick, do a little bit of a three point turn. And I'm just going to park it parallel just like this so that when I just knock into it, it's in the side and then hopefully should just fall over. And that's exactly what ends up happening right here. So as you can see, falls right over. So you want to get it wedged in between those tires uh, right there. So as you can see, I'm just going to keep hitting it. Shouldn't take that many tries, really. Just keep backing up and just keep hitting it again. I've hit it, what, three times already? This is going to be the fourth. And look at that. It's already smoking. So remember, he's frozen behind the MOC waiting to go. And then boom, I go ahead and I blow up the MOC just like that. And the car receiver is still frozen behind the MOC sitting on the pause screen. All right. So car giver on the main screen, go ahead and start up a job. All right. doesn't matter which one. We always use a Titan of a job. Go ahead and start up a Titan of a job. And then car receiver, go into your online players tab and join your friend that's helping you in that job. Just hit join game and just spam through all the alerts. You're going to get that alert. Are you sure you want to join? And then you're going to get the session's private alert. That's all good. As long as you're in an invite only session, that's exactly what you want to see happen. All right. 
So go ahead and just join up. You're going to get all those alerts. Just spam through them and then you're good. All right. So in the top right, check it out. You're going to spawn back down either with your vehicle or without. It doesn't matter if you're in your vehicle, just hop out. And now you do not want to hop into any sort of vehicle. All right, car receiver. If you're getting the car, don't hop into a caddy. Don't hop into anything. You just sit tight in your bunker and you wait for your friend to glitch in the car that you want. All right. That's it. You've pretty much done the only, you know, big steps that you've had to do. All right. And it's not even that hard. You just do right D-pad start and then join a job as the car receiver. So now we're back to the car giver in the main screen. Car giver, go ahead and just go outside of your bunker. And what you're going to want to do is call up the car that you are giving to your friend. In, uh, in this video, I'm actually going to go ahead and give him a Reaper. And uh, yeah, shout out to my boy Perry, man, for helping me out with this glitch. And uh, he actually gives me a really cool car at the end of the video as well. One that I didn't have before. But uh, yeah, I'm giving him this Reaper right here. It's got a really cool paint job. Uh, I definitely recommend, guys, Farmhouse Bunker for this glitch. We've been using Farmhouse for a while. It's a good location, pretty close to the city. And uh, yeah, the only pain of it is that sometimes the uh, car spawns out here in the field. That's pretty much one of the only things. And you got a couple rednecks over here that always shoot at you if you guys are like taking out your guns and stuff like that. But other than that, Farmhouse is a really good bunker. One of the more expensive ones, but I highly recommend it. A lot of people doing gift cards to friends use Farmhouse, so it's pretty good. So what you're going to do now is go ahead and drive the car into your bunker, the one that you're giving your friend. All right? We're pulling in these cars solo, all right? That's the best part. And remember when I pulled in the Faggio earlier? If you're giving your friend an oppressor, you can actually do bikes with this glitch. So just wedge it where you saw it before, and you're going to do the same thing. We're going to glitch in the car now, though. So the car is a bit different than the bike. But if you're glitching in a bike, you're going to go to that same spot over there where those pallets are. Uh, but right now, we're glitching in a car. So I'm going to give him this Reaper. What you want to do is go ahead and just back up and wedge your driver's side door up against this wall right here. All right. So just make sure it's wedged so that you can't get out of the driver's side. And when you hit wire triangle, he should scoot over. That's what you want to see. All right. So now what you want to do is go ahead and hop into a bunker caddy and you're going to want to wedge the passenger side door now. All right. Just like this. Just make sure you're kind of flush with the door. Uh, just park parallel right there, opposite way of the door. All right. I definitely recommend parking the bunker and the Reaper opposite ways. All right. Facing different directions, just like that. So now if you stand in front of the car, you're glitching in, uh, you should be able to press wire triangle and teleport in every single time, just like that. That's what you want to see. That is a successful way to do it. So now go ahead and open up your phone, launch up that Simeon, Martin or Gerald job. Remember, you want to back out right when the lobby comes up. So I'm going to hit B right now and then A to confirm it and start spamming Y. All right, there you go. Spam Y as soon as you back out of that job already. And that's it. The car is glitched into the bunker, guys. So now what I would recommend the person giving the car, go ahead and drive all the way to this location. All right, drive all the way to these yellow barriers and just back it up right here. And what this is going to allow uh, him to do is go ahead and hop into the passenger seat. He'll let you know when he's in there, you hop out. And when he scoots over to the driver's seat, he is just going to get sucked right into his MOC, just like that. So you see, he told me he's in the uh, passenger seat. I got out. He's moving over to the driver's seat. And look, the car's just going to disappear just like that. If the car doesn't disappear and he doesn't get sucked in his MOC right away, just tell him to drive forward and, you know, into the bunker doors a bit. And he should get sucked in right away. And that's pretty much it, guys. See, super easy to play a glitch. You can do this very, very quickly. Does not take a long time at all. Uh, so now you see in the top right, he was actually giving me that car right there. It's a really cool LG Retro Custom. And once again, a Benny's vehicle, best one that you can dupe, best one you can sell, has a custom plate on it. What you want to do now is hold down on the D-pad, select a story mode character, get the alert, and just back out. Once you've backed out of the alert, you are free to get into your car and drive it out of the MOC. You won't get caught on any sort of infinite loading screen. So drive out of your bunker and go ahead and request your MOC. Now at this point, if you're using this as a money glitch or if you just want to be safe, go ahead and go to Los Santos Customs and change the plate to your own custom plate just to be super safe. And then go ahead and drive it into your MOC just like this. And that's how you save the car, guys. Just like that. Car saved. You did this all two players. I'm telling you, this is a 10 minute, you know, a car, just two players. If you guys get everything right, super simple. All right. So. Get working on this, man. This is one of the easiest gift cards to friends we've had in a while, all right? If you haven't checked out the uh, the money glitch that came out, that Far Crew setup, Killer Gaming and them, uh, I'll have a link at the end of the video to check that out. You can dupe any car with that, but that's going to be it for me for uh, for now, all right, guys? If you're new to the channel, make sure that uh, you, know, you hit that red subscribe button. Uh, if you enjoyed the video, drop a like down below, man. I really do appreciate it. And if you want to be informed 
Uh, when I come out with another video, go ahead and hit them post notifications, turn them on so you can be informed the second I come out with any more fresh and informative, dope GTA 5 online content. Peace out, everybody. Have a great weekend.